look, we everyone hold your horses. Yeah, hold, pump hold them. Slow down, everybody. Put your porch, put your uh, torches and pitchforks away, please. Mm-hmm. We all know that ogres and podcasters are like onions, <laughs> but we do not need to be filleted. Okay. I uh, not be look. Please, yeah, don't fillet us because all we're doing is talking about patron shout outs. Uh, these are folks who have pledged three dollars or more to our Patreon. Uh, that you can find at, I don't know, patreon.com slash Kame House Party. Uh, yeah, you can find it there. Uh, but these right people. Down there. Uh, but we got two new ones for you this time. Uh, the first one is from Dana Jackson, who has joined the Patreon. Uh, Dana, hello. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Thank you very much. They, they look, they know me in real life. I'm not going <laughs> to front. Hey. This is an inside job. The more you know. As long as long as you're not like also shorting Kama House Party stock, I don't care who you bring in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you know, great. Let's just not turn this into a, a bit connector, a, a yeah. pyramid scheme of the highest caliber. Let's I, I, not do that. I'm certainly not taking the names of the deceased, <laughs> giving them Patreon accounts, and then bumping those numbers up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're not. We don't have like a bunch of ghost PayPal cards out there just paying us money. <laughs> But but speaking of other people who've paid us money, another Patreon shout out going out to Jerry Henson. Henson, Jerry Henson, need to get some of these puppets, right? Kermit T Frog here. I think Jerry T the- Henson here. <laughs> <laughs> there, uh, uh, Jerry's written to us a bunch before and has and will in the future. I'm just look. I'm just calling my shot here. Oh, uh, <laughs> he's point. He's pointing. 426 yards away. Yeah, yeah. I got that. We, I have a little felt hand on a rod that I'm pointing <laughs> up towards the rafters. <laughs> thank you, Jerry. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank both of you so much. And again, Dana, if, Jerry, thank you. Jerry, Dana, you thank. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my boy. <laughs> but yeah, if you, if you want a cool shout out like this... <laughs> <laughs> uh, just go to patreon.com slash come house party pledge three dollar redos a month uh, charge five dollar redos and you get the same thing but you also get access to all of our bonus content we usually put it out <laughs> once a week uh, we're getting better at it uh, but thank you all again for supporting us and now on with the show yummy yummy house party Hey, everybody. Welcome to Kame House Party. I'm Vince. I'm Aaron. And this is the universe's only and bestest improv comedy Dragon Ball podcast in the known universe. And we are here another week to discuss yet another episode of Dragon Ball, uh, specifically Dragon Ball Z. Can you believe it? I can because this is the... the (laughs) I can because this is the... (laughs) Damn it. Can I'm you? trying to get to a. I sold my soul. We sold our souls okay, to the okay. podcast gods. We had a, we read we wrote a contract in blood with Jimmy Pardo mm-hmm. and said until we die we will do this podcast. Blah 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 blah. What do wait? What do we get in return? Uh, so wait, 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 hold on. By that logic, we sold our souls. And yeah. In return, we, we got, got to do this we podcast. Got to do this. Podcast. Hey, I just look. I just wanted to be. Sometimes I forget the contract. I just wanted to be clear. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. As far it's as I'm short. concerned, it's real short. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, we made out like bandits. I know, I know. Yeah, we don't have the the overhead of the podcast gods. We have their blessing, and we are just doing it. And we're back again for another week. Like I said, we're going to talk about Dragon Ball right after we get some Kame housekeeping done, which is our patented segment where we get to. Oh Lord. <laughs> Do you just want to start all the way over? No. Okay. (laughs) It's all in. It's all in. It's all in. Uh, Before we get to talking to the episode, got to tell you about Kame Housekeeping. Uh, 
which is where we just get ready to get into the episode. That's what we do, right? And the first piece of Kame housekeeping is the world-famous UN-sanctioned one-minute roundup whip sound. These spurs, my God, they're beautiful. Oh, I'm, oh. I'm almost, uh, tears are streaming down my face. I've the craftsmanship. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing pleases me more, sir, than to see someone enjoying my hard work out there on the range. Oh. As a smith, I don't get these interactions much, so thank you for stopping back by to tell me such. Of course, I had to travel a hundred miles on on footback. That's right. That's how I say walking. I was uh, about on... to say that is a unique uh, mode of travel, footback. You had the spur. Anyway, keep mm. going. Look, I had... Look, I had of course, I had my spurs on me, even though I was not using a horse. They are the the gold inlay, yes. the rhinestones, yes, the gemstones. All just spur of the moment touches of inspiration. I added into your magnificent pair of spurs. You you somehow managed to etch in the poem, "Charge of the Light Brigade." That's right. Uh, Forward, forward, charge as we go. The mm-hmm. light brigade, blood will show, and to our enemies' doom they'll go. That is the charge of the light mm-hmm. brigade yep, by I- Ernest Hemingway. Of course, we're both, look, we're both learned men. Of course. That's, that's how it goes. Absolutely. And my enemies read that, I make them read that poem before I slice their necks with these spurs of mine. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Just, what? Now, now, I don't know if I, if, uh, <clears throat> see, I did, I chose to go into Smithing so I could make things that helped uh, mm-hmm. folks Help out people here. die. Continue. Uh, now, knowing that I got blood on my spurs, I, I feel well, somewhat my. responsible. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I made myself laugh. No, and, and scene. That, ladies and germs, is our uh, one-minute roundup improvised Western-themed improv scene. I used improv so many times in that sentence, so you know it's improvised. Uh, and we do that to either loosen or tighten our improv muscles. For me, it's all loosey goosey, baby. <laughs> uh, and then that gets us into our one minute roundup proper, where one of us, this time Aaron, has 60 seconds to summarize everything that has happened in Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z up until this point. That is 74 episodes of Dragon Ball Z. Aaron, we are creeping towards 100 episodes of Dragon Ball Z under our belt. And over how many hundred episodes of Dragon Ball? <laughs> he's got to, uh, you know, he's got to, he's got to summarize it all. Uh, and Aaron, now that I've told the listeners that piece of information, I have one question for you: Are you ready to round up? I am. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let it show. <laughs> Dragon Ball is about seven magic crystal balls. If you collect them all, you get any wish you want. And the main character is Goku. He was a little boy. He fought, he, look, he beat up a bunch of people who wanted to use the Dragon Balls for bad purposes. But like I said, he beat him up, stopped him from it. He entered karate tournaments to get strong. And he did. He defeated a demon king. Uh, he defeated a demon king's son. Then he ended up defeating loneliness by getting married uh they were married for five years had a kid in that time his brother from space said hey you're an alien and you're bad come be bad with me he's like no thank you i'll kill you instead and then goku's like oh no i got i died in the process of that he went to the afterlife got real strong came back to help his buddies fight off more aliens who were from his home planet he he defeated them but they they're like oh no our friends are dead and dragon balls don't exist right now they're like let's go to this other planet and get them and they do and they find out oh there's a dude named frieza and he's super bad and he wants to get those dragon balls for himself and uh and goku's in a tank now <laughs> yeah Woo! you did it and i hope uh, i hope everybody watching the podcast likes how i was like co-signing the stuff that you were saying <laughs> like i was giving you answers to an oral exam in the hallway you ever have a, a like yeah, a yeah you were signing a one-on-one oral exam with a language teacher this 
I don't know what to, I I don't know whether to like ask about your history in a serious tone. Oh, I know how that sounds now. <laughs> I, now I know how that sounds. Uh, no, it was a format of the like there was a written exam and then there was a oral exam mm-hmm. and the oral exam was like five ten minutes. So like after the written I mean, final, yeah, exactly after the written final. I think this was in middle school. We had to like step outside. Um, like it was on, a, it was scheduled. So you had to step outside at your time to answer questions that the teacher was asking and they did it outside the room. So nobody else could hear the questions and all that kind of stuff. Um, that we only did that once, but, uh, the, the, yeah, that, that's exactly, there we go. Nothing weird about that. It was technically <laughs> the, fact that it only hap- the, the fact that it only happened once <laughs> for all the other children to see. Exactly. Uh, so I, but I passed is what you're saying. Oh, you passed. Great. Absolutely. You, we all brought the GPA of the, of the exam up to a level where we, we get a day off. Ooh. Yeah. Like we all got over cool. 75%. <laughs> oh, shit. He left me. He left me alone. <laughs> I'll switch it back. That was uh, for the, that was for the watching audience. Eat sometimes, sometimes you gotta watch. Mm-hmm. Um, and now that we've gotten that out of the way and I've divulged too much about my schooling, <laughs> uh, we can get into the final piece of comedy housekeeping where I tell you, the listener, that Aaron and I watch two different versions of the show. I watch the English dubbed version and Aaron watches the Japanese language English subtitled version because comparing and contrasting is what, kids? Fun! Fun. Uh, exactly! And uh, usually the thing that is different up top is the title. So here we go for the English title of today's episode, which is episode 75 of Dragon Ball Z. Password is Porunga. Nice. Like that alliteration. That's what I, that's what I, mm -hmm. I give it a plus one for alliteration. It goes a long way in my book. Mine's way longer. I can't wait. Should I sit? I'm, I'm going to recline. <laughs> All right. Good Good on you. Uh, so the title for episode 75 of Dragon Ball Z from the original Japanese, roughly translated, is Thou who hast gathered the seven balls, now speak forth the password. Mm. That's it. That's pretty nice. I mean, it Getting feels biblical. poetic. Yeah, b- biblical. Like the the Namekian Bible, whatever that's called. There's like a that's like a Purunga the, verse two. <laughs> the the king the Guru James version. Yeah. <laughs> Guru sounds James. I mean sounds like a cool guy. I, honestly, <laughs> Guru James is out there making R and B tracks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Guru James, Ooh. and I am here on this Princess of the Sea cruise to give you what I call a serenade at sea. Do, 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 do. And it's all just covers. Serenade. But. <laughs> the sea-based covers of funk and R&B tracks. <laughs> Can't. I just want to get rescued. Meet me on the lifeboat with your life vest. Ooh. We ain't getting no younger because the boat is sinking. All right. So can't get enough of your love, babe. What would be the uh, the sea equivalent? What's the mm. play on words there? Can't get enough of your boat, babe. I, 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 I. Can't get enough subtle. of your boat, babe. Look, someone fund this album. So, That's so a, uh, <laughs> You got to... We we sing a lot on this podcast, but I I need you to start singing in that te- in that in that register. I mean, it's, it's I try not to. It's it's powerful. The basso <laughs> the basso profundo as my choir teacher Margaret Ann Butterfield. That's right. Shout out Margaret Ann. She's out there not listening because she's way cooler than I am. Uh, but she she we we had to identify our vocal like fingerprint mm-hmm. essentially, and we've been doing a lot of work uh, with like. We'd listen to uh, arias and operas and stuff like that, and and uh, like after doing some more singing, she was like, "We're all gonna learn what what your like actual thing is." And I was basso profundo, um, which is like the comedic bass line. 
So Ooh. if I was to be in any aria or opera, my voice would fit whoever is the funny fat man hey. or funny large man, um, which I am completely, I'm completely down for. You cha- you switch it on its turn on its head because you're the funny tall man. Exactly. Oh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a rock star of the opera world. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna be look at look at this bass who's not who who doesn't fit the norm. And he refuses. I'll have, like, my, Rags to riches story. He refused to put a pillow under his shirt. <laughs> the it is the audacity. And when, and when he and when he reaches his pinnacle high note, his collar does not flap up. His dicky. His dicky does not flap like a like a curtain drawn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I will. I'll be. Yeah, I'll be the artist formerly known as Vince. Um, <laughs> But now, with all that out of the way, I have, for, I have no idea where we are. Uh, we got to get the episode, episode baby. At, yeah, we got to start talking about this episode. Episode 75. Password is Perunga. And then that long thing that you also said. <laughs> Agreed. So where do we <laughs> go? We, we cut to little yes. Goku sort of looking at self in the mirror, reflecting. He's like, oh, yeah. Wondering he- if he got stronger. And then he starts doing, he starts, look. Every guy, I, I'm going to assume every girl. Okay, so everyone. Every person. You know you're putting your arms up, trying to flex in mm-hmm. the mirror yeah. every goddamn day. Every day. As a child, especially after those Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies, I was waking up hoping I was bit by a spider <laughs> so I could get buff. <laughs> that was how I, that's how I did it. So you could knowingly say big changes? Yeah, I could just say big changes. <laughs> take my glasses off that was really what i wanted i wanted to get a mutation that allowed me to see without uh without any help from science that would have yeah except the other well not that science not that practical science yeah i I wanted genetic science fix me from the dna out (laughs) but this is this is so cute little it's very cute Uh, little gohan uh he says in mine mm -hmm. get ready universe the most powerful Saiyan good guy is here. Ooh. And then he holds that pose and it goes into the little like hand drawn universe with a blue sky. It's so cute. It's adorable. Uh, yeah. And then the worst thing that can happen to any <laughs> lad in that situation happens is that your cool uncle comes up and says, <laughs> what are you doing, nerd? <laughs> yes. Dinner. Mom says dinner's in fun. What are you doing? <laughs> what is that? Yeah. Put a shirt on. My God, do kids think that's cool? <laughs> when I was your age, I had subjugated three planets. Mm-hmm. All of them bowed to my will. What what planets have you owned, young one? Uh, you know, like uh, well, Planet Hollywood. <laughs> I I got some stock in that. Stock? Mm-hmm. Is that some great fighting tool? No, or it's- is it? It's a it's a share of the company uh, that fluctuates in price. Share? Saiyans don't share. Saiyans destroy. Anyway, your mother said um, to put on a nice shirt. We're all we're all dressing up. We're having for Benigans. Oh, veal from Benigans. Benigans. Oh, we're not even going. It's just a- it's to go. <laughs> but I'm going to leave you here, <laughs> as in go away. Nerd. All right. Dang. Oh man. Uh, I'm still gonna pop. I guess I'll do one of these. <laughs> We're one arms up, one arms down. You know what I'm talking about, baby. You look like a monkey. Oh dang. He's Sorry, so- last one. All right, I'll put a shirt on. <laughs> and, and see. See. We've all been there. Oh, uh, your relatives. Of some form, of mm-hmm. some immediate or not immediate family members, seen you do something embarrassing, and it's the worst thing in the world. And I can't think. Th- uh, 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 I'll tell you one right now. I was about to say I can't think of one, but I thought no one was at the house. And Vince, I was a teenager at this point. <laughs> oh boy! So no, I thought no one was at the house, and I am skipping <laughs> through the house. I think to the kitchen. I don't, I'm fucking, I'm just fucking bebopping around. <laughs> I love it. Yelling out uh, an at the drive in song. 
which is oh, a uh, wow. yeah, which is a uh, I don't even know how you'd classify it. I think hardcore at the time would be mm. the description. Anyway, someone from church was there with my mom, and That's I stopped rough. real quick. That's rough. And then quickly went back to my room. Mm-hmm. 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 It, it, it's somehow way worse if it's a church friend, because that imprint church people always remember you at your worst, so that they can tell you how much better you're doing. And I feel like that that is something that they would glom on to. And be like, oh, Aaron, uh, are you still skipping? Like, <laughs> just seeing you at church, like, how's it going? Singing, still skipping? Singing the devil's lyrics. Mm-hmm. Skipping to the devil's tune. <laughs> I wonder if that sermon put a pep in your step. Yes. You don't skip a church. <laughs> yeah, Aaron, why don't I see you skip a church singing, more? Bringing, bring, singing, bringing in the, the sheep. You should, you should, you should join the choir, and you could skip and bring in the sheep. Now I'm just imagining a church choir that has like the dancing dude, like the mighty mighty Boston's. <laughs> yeah, and that's their only job. Mm-hmm. The praise dancers. Wait a minute, you didn't have these at your church? No, we're. I'm. I was raised Mormon. Oh, it's right, very, right. It's very. Right. It's very still, and you're sitting, and that's kind of it. Mm-mm. Baptist church, you are out of your seat, baby. You had to get up and praise him. Get up off of that thing. And praise Jesus. We didn't even get uh, uh, crackers and wine. It was water and bread. Ooh, that, that's got to hurt. Gotta Sometimes hurt. hot dog buns. It was mm. usually old bread. I got. I, I remember just loving to be able to pass the big tray of wine. And I'm like, ah, oh, it smells like weird markers. <laughs> and then my my grandmother would give me a candy from her bag. Is usually one of those flavored Tootsie Rolls. You ever Ooh. have those? You mean the best kind of Tootsie Rolls? Hell Tootsies? Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Grape? Grape and orange. Mm. Those were my mm-hmm, favorite. Mm-hmm. I hated when I got handed a vanilla. I was like, what am I supposed to do Don't with Don't like this? a vanilla? No. Not then. I've I've appreciated vanilla now in a way that I couldn't have at my, at my younger days. We, okay. Are we still I... doing an episode? <laughs> <laughs> we have, I think it's... They're not going to come out. Well, we'll see. Um, but it is after dark when we're right. recording this. So we are not on track. The seal is a little bit weak uh, for us in keeping those after dark boys at bay. Mm. So we'll get to the next big plot point early on in this episode, yeah. which is Krillin, uh, at the end of the last episode, has uh, flown off to try to meet Guru to get the password. Uh, he's flying towards Guru. Dende is flying towards the humans. Um, <clears throat> Dende comes across what he thinks is Krillin's dead body and is like, oh, Krillin, no, no, no. Uh, no, not Krillin. It's just that boy, Berta, st- still dead, still neck broken. <laughs> His tongue's out. His tongue's it's out. It's gruesome. It's awful what Vegeta did to that man's <laughs> body. Well, I, uh, so Dende, who has known Krillin all of like, I guess they saved him. Never mind. Yeah, I was saved gonna, his life. I was going to be like, why? Is, first of all, why is he crying so much? And, you know, asked and answered. Mm-hmm. Saved his life. But two, it's weird that he assumes Krillin is the one that dies first and it's not a go on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, of all the things he's witnessed, all the atrocities that Dende's seen, he assumed that the only other adult would die before the child did. <sighs> I was going to say, says he's weak. <laughs> yeah, Dende's he's like, oh, Krillin, I, I thought you were dead. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> You're still a liability, I guess. Why is he a Zisan sorry? <laughs> no. No. I don't know any Aziz Ansari bits. I don't know any Aziz Ansari bits either, then, other than the ones that we don't talk about. <laughs> then we're moving on. Uh huh. Farfalle pasta, and we're done. <laughs> Vegeta. He's he can't help it anymore. He hasn't slept in a while. He's beat up, tired. He's like he's fighting it. He's he's fighting it so bad. He's like, all right, maybe just like thirty minutes. Yeah, that won't be too bad. All right, let me set this alarm. Let me mm-hmm. not find a bed, but lean up against Goku's pod. It was pretty cute. I thought that cute en- that entire exchange. Well, here's what made it cute. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, in mine, as Vegeta is drifting off into Napville, he says, Ah, a super say- Ah, a super saiyan does need his rest. And then he he t- 
takes a little nappy poo. Ah, uh, yeah. And I was like, oh, you think she's a super saiyan? Oh, it's so sweet. You... He's sleeping right next to us. According to, to the ancient texts. According to the ancient texts. Super Saiyans need eight hours. <gasps> this is what I call a Super Saiyan power nap for 30 whole minutes. Ooh. That I mean, that's kind of accurate. That's there, that's a recommendation. You don't want to nap longer for that. Exactly. So we do have a lot more timing in this, like, going from last episode to now. We established that Goku needs to rest for one hour. We're establishing that Vegeta is going to be asleep for a half hour. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that Dende is on the move and Krillin's on the move at this point. And Gohan is playing pretend yeah. outside. Like a like like he should be. Like a child should be. Oh, like a six-year-old? <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. We, all right, so we get to this nail. We get, we get back to Frieza and nail. Still... <sighs> Frieza still beating his ass. He's still alive. Um, Frieza's like, come on, give me the password. And then Nail, you idiot, Thank just you. reveals the whole plan. It's like, Thank I'm you. just, I'm just a distraction. Mm -hmm. Ha 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 ha. I didn't think that's how it came out. I didn't remember that Nail just eventually thought, well, that must be enough time. Now, now I can not get my buns beat. Yeah, exactly. You're the uh, fate of the world, the fate of the universe. Fate of the universe is in Nail's hands, and he he let he let the goat go. He just he let the cat out of the bag like two minutes too early. Mm -hmm. Just give it a little more time. You gotta the the signal is when the sky darkens. Yeah, not when you feel like you can't take any yeah. off. Who am I? I'm not. I'm not sitting there taking oh, a look, from I freezer given it for like an hour and a half. Yeah, I would have given it away real quick. Yeah, I would be like, ow, ah, jeez, they're over there. It's Paranga. It's Paranga. Fuck. Jeez. Ow. 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 Mm. ow. It's me tripping on. It's me tripping on a rock. Yep. <laughs> Before the fight even starts, like, getting you know, to the fight. Yeah, ow. there's too much. Oh. It's like you know what's kind of far. <laughs> And I got to fly all the way back. Fuck. Uh, you mm -hmm. know what? Here. I'll what time is it going to be when we're done? Eight? Oh, no. You know what? I'm just going to text you the password. <laughs> I'm going to head back. Oh, you have a WhatsApp? Yeah, I was about to say, can you scan this QR code? Password's on here, along with the Wi-Fi. Yeah, we wrote it. <laughs> Look, you should have just checked the fridge. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> It was right there, outside of Guru's door the whole time. You didn't see it. <laughs> what? I thought that was just those weird word magnets that nerds have. Wait, wait, there we go. Here's my voice. Sorry, I was doing an impersonation of a lowly Saiyan named Vegeta, but... Sounds, he, sounds lame. <coughs> he is, oh, he's, oh, I wish you could meet him. He's the lamest. Lame o that ever lamed lame. I don't know why I let him in my army. Well, I'll say this. It takes one to know one. <laughs> oh, damn. First, first, you're crude enough to flip me off. Yep. See, see last episode, True Believer. Yep. Uh, and now you're calling, you're pulling this on me after I granted you mercy by not killing you completely and then running off. As the people on my planet say, nailed him. That's, ah, oh, you did nail me. Damn it. That's good. It's almost as good as, look, everyone seems to have one of those where they either say there's a craned them or a nailed them. I need one. Free, freeze them doesn't sound that good. Uh, how about, uh. Um, yeah, help me workshop this before I murder you. Yeah, sure, sure. Because, uh, how about, <coughs> why don't you call yourself, uh, Ice Tray? I think you're getting, uh. I know that there's a lot of purple blood <laughs> leaking out from, <laughs> well, your every orifice, I'm going to say it. Um, it's not so much a nickname for me that can sort of retrofit to some sort of slam. Oh, I'm when sorry. I, I, no, now I, <laughs> sorry. It must be all the concussions I have. Mm -hmm. um, You're very bumpy, like, like Polka Dot Man in Suicide, in the Suicide Squad. Sorry. Yeah, don't get it twisted. I won't. No, I should just say that my DC. <laughs> I should say 2021. Just say the date and that'll clarify it. Okay. And, this, and thanks for clarifying the ask. So 
you should say when you burn somebody, you should say, um, froze them. <laughs> That's what I suggested at the very beginning and said I didn't like it. Are you even trying? Like, I don't know why I brought you out here if you're not going to participate. <laughs> it's funny that you thought you brought me out here. I brought what? you out here instead. <laughs> Go on. Because it's too late. Dende's already given the nickname I straight to the humans. <laughs> That's not what we're here for. Damn it. The whole universe will know your nickname is Ice Tray. Oh, that, no, it's Frieza. Ice Tray is dumb. That sounds like an American gladiator, which, like the show, just not for me. Just I don't want that kind. I don't want a turbo. We don't get we don't get Earth TV out here. What are oh, you, you talking don't? about? No. I mean, you speak we perfect get Pluto you, TV. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got. <laughs> And see. see, hey, in a pinch, in a Pluto pinch. TV, Pluto TV, it'll, it's always there for you. <laughs> oh man! And then I think before we go to commercial, mm-hmm. we have to address the the guru in the room because to him, I don't know if you get this, but because to himself, he's like, "Yeah, I probably should have told him <laughs> the password." Whoopsie yes! doodle. Yes, Guru <laughs> has regrets. It's like, oh, I really, oh, I goobered that up bad. Like, he's seeing it all unfold. He's like, I should have just given them the password when they were here. Oh, oh so how so foolish so I was. Stupid, stupid Guru. Nail went through all that pain for literally nothing. Literally, yeah, I, oof. When I when I, I put can't. my hand on the bald one's head, I could have just said, and the password is this, Morunga. Yeah, he would have... He would have, I mean, maybe he wouldn't have understood then, but he would have understood eventually mm-hmm. when the time was right. Am I telepathic to be a step that? I don't know. Can I send out a me- quick text? <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Google. Oh, jeez. Wait, did you, did Google's, was My, Google about to tell me if I'm telepathic? The, the Google said you and me both. So <laughs> Google must believe that you are telepathic. I mean, maybe. Um, but yeah, I, I don't, it's hard to tell with the Namekians if they're telepathic or they just have a really strong sensory perception because it felt like Guru was like, ah, well, I could feel that Nail, his life force is low and Frieza stopped beating his ass. So my plan must be fucked up a little bit. <laughs> There's, well here, uh, no, I was about to propose some weird scenario, but I don't think this is in King Kai's capabilities. Um, that they mess it Piccolo using someone uses King Kai as a radio messages Guru like, "Hey, dude, tell me that password. I'll relay it to one of our boys." Mm. But I don't think he know. I don't think he can see Planet Namek like that. I think he just senses energy, right? It that's he's, a good question. He's not spying because it seems like he he has the ability he has the awareness of like ah oh, I can hone in on anybody's key and know where they are and know if they're alive or not but I guess maybe the picture is fuzzy so he can't he it's not like um baba's orb where mm-hmm. she can literally like watch yeah. like it's tv it's not a multi cam setup <laughs> exactly exactly well there uh yeah so look if you I mean, now's the perfect time to say that if you know the extent of King Kai's clairvoyance, um, you gotta you can write to us at kamehousepartypod at gmail.com. Tag it KHP Research uh, just for organizational purposes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then we'll, we'll if, if we like that answer, we'll read it. Absolutely. We'll, we'll educate ourselves on air because uh, we don't do research. We don't. Not part of the show. As you can tell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, would, have, would have ruined yeah. the flow otherwise. <laughs> yes, the flow. Uh, and it would have ruined this commercial. Uh. Hello there. I hope my uh, advice was helpful. On to the next caller for Guru for You. The one and only guru reading service. Call me now for a Namekian reading. 1 800 Guru for you. Who's our next caller? Um, hi, yes, this is uh, Terry 
from uh, Nebraska, which is stop. A, okay, you're from Nebraska. Uh huh. I can sense you. That's from a, Earth. You have a very weak key. I'm, that's not what I'm calling about. I actually need some financial advice. You don't seem like a very powerful fighter and wouldn't last very long against Frieza. Um, I don't know who he is, but you actually you got me you got me dead to rights. I would not. I would probably die immediately in any sort of altercation. Mm. And Guru suggests for your financial troubles, maybe mm-hmm. invest in a Roth IRA. Great. Actually, that's that's very helpful. And you should also sign up for Kabe House Party's Patreon. It's only huh? $3 for a Patreon shout-out at House patreon.com slash House Party. Wait, I see, trust- I see some sort of banner in my mind, a, a pop-up of sorts. Ah, yes. Showing me the a, URL. That is a guru patented pop-up. Only to be used for my special customers. I, I you, click it with my frontal lobe and it takes me directly to the site. And on that site, you can sign up for one of two options, two tiers. A $3 tier gets you a Patreon one-time only shout-out. And then the second, $5 gets you access to the Kame House Party pre-games, where the two hosts talk about everything other than Kame House Party, like the Matrix Resurrections trailer or other trailers, sometimes a stoner movie marathon thing. And, oh, yes, I would avoid shellfish if I were you. Wait, what? Next caller. (laughs) Clean that's 1-800-GURU for you to get a 100% authentic Namekian key reading. Who's our next caller? Hi, hello, I'm Roy from Queens. Stop right there. Stop, okay. I can I'll stop tell, driving. I can tell your key mm. is troubled. You don't know exactly which way to go. I mean, yeah, go, uh, Maps is kind of taking me every topsy-turvy everywhere. Mm, but your key is strong and powerful. Thank it should you. be aligned with a service like patreon.com slash Kame House Party, where you can use that powerful key to raise mm. up the patrons and the podcast sexual, of Kame continue. House Party. And using that key, you will find love Ooh. in the Kame House Party community. Wait, is this the sort of dating service you're promoting? In a way, <laughs> you get you get access to their pre-games for five dollars. That's like dating. And if I you get want... in a, a like I understand a parasocial relationship, but I'm and I'm totally cool with it. Well, you'll be totally I'm cool down with to clown on that. A three dollar donation gets you a one time Patreon, Ooh. a one time shout out on their podcast. Did you know that they are the only podcast covering the world of Dragon Ball Z in the known universe? There's not other some other caveat to that. No, <laughs> not a single one. All right, hey, all right, I mean, look, it's it's something to talk about at Thanksgiving. Also, oh, I would recommend you check your bank statements. All right, gonna check it right here. You might find some transactions unusual. These are unusual. <laughs> Thank you, Guru. <laughs> what? Wait, what? What should I have said? No, you're wrong. All I, all Guru. These look all Guru above board. just wants to enjoy. Guru <laughs> enjoys helping people. All right. But you did. Thank you. And listen, if you're a caller trying to get a hold of Guru at one eight hundred Guru for you. You might as well just go to patreon.com <laughs> slash Kame House Party, where all your troubles, key or otherwise, can be abated with a $3 or $5 donation. And now, back to the show and all of the mistakes I've made. No! Nail Dende, my people! <laughs> Hey.
And we are, we are back. back. Back from commercial, and we're going to talk more show. Yeah. Uh, Gohan's still sitting on those balls after we get back from commercial. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But one God. of those balls starts a rolling away. I'm playing a little like cat and mouse. Like, I'm rolling, now I'm not. I'm yeah. rolling, now I'm not. Kind of like, uh, hey, I'm going to... I'm gonna go grab a drink. I'll I'll be back in a second, and you mm-hmm. don't talk to that person. You exactly. you leave the party. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how you do it. Get that's how you do it. That's how you get out of a party. You say I'm gonna go get a drink. And you just slip mm-hmm. on out, or you do the, the old the old handoff. Hey, oh like, oh go you, for it. Do you know Kristen? Oh, she also went. She you know she also just moved here. Hey, all right, boop. Yep, yep. And then you just like you you almost like smush them a little bit closer yeah push yes. away and then you That's are a great visual scot free scot free mm. uh, mr miracle <laughs> That's mr. Real 3000? Name. Huh? mr no. 3000 huh <laughs> mr 3000 bernie mac yeah <laughs> what a film anyway never watched it look oh! then- Okay, we'll okay. we'll pause. No, no, we can keep going. Okay, is that a pregame? Maybe it is. I don't I know. Would love, I would love for that to be a pregame for for us to watch. All right, <laughs> should we watch Mister Three Thousand? You we got I got the audience has to tell us. Oh yeah, the audience be has interested to tell us. In. If you want the Patreon content to be us watching two early two thousands films mm-hmm. of one of the funniest men on the planet, <laughs> calling somebody a sum of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Dende and Krillin meet each other. True. The end. <laughs> That's Moving it. on. Here, because the here's the best. Look, the dragon gets summoned in this episode. Here's, but we're not. The best thing in this episode is not that. This yeah. is the best thing in this episode. Best thing in the episode happens right now. <laughs> when we cut back from Krillin and Dende saying hello, uh, which is <laughs> go on uh, realizing that the Dragon Ball is rolling away. Of its own accord. Hold on. Wait a minute. And upon further investigation, who do we find rolling that Dragon Ball away? Some frog. Not just any frog. Mm-hmm. Ginyu frog. Hey, still here. Hey, I'm uh, rolling the Dragon Ball. <laughs> oh, I lost my Kermit. I had it at one point. You took Ooh. it from me at the beginning of the episode. I, yeah, we trade the we trade the Kermit impression. <laughs> yeah. So Aaron will have the Kermit impression on the next episode. Mm-hmm. So just mm-hmm. keep, keep a running tab for, for us there. But he's, yeah, Ginyu as a frog. He's, I guess he's a, I mean, he's a company man. And that's respectful to a degree, to a lowly, not great degree. <laughs> but commitment, commitment. I respect yes, commitment. Yes, yes. All right. Like, could you imagine, Aaron, uh, being forcibly removed from your body and then still trying to do your job yeah. in the, I mean, in the body in. that you were put in? You coming in the next day? Exactly. It's like winning the lot. Oh, it's it's the opposite version of like winning the lottery and still continuing to work. You Just, could see this uh, as a get out of jail free card. Hey, mm-hmm. I'm a frog. I got no responsibilities. Life is good. Yeah. Just got to eat flies, baby. Mm-hmm. Eat flies and propagate. Hey, oh. <laughs> I mean, we'll get to that. Foreshadow. Um, uh, there, uh, the b- 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 so like he's he's trying to roll this Dragon Ball. He can't. There's a little bump that's in its way. He can't. Guinea Frog can't quite push it, which I think is BS because he's a frog. He's got them legs, mm-hmm. those powerful thighs, and that, you know he's got to have stickyish fingers to grip mm-hmm. and move it. Yeah, there should be no there should be no issues here. But that is beyond beyond the point. Um, because when he when Gohan <laughs> when Gohan uh, happens upon this frog. Ginyu Frog pulls the classic, like, I'm not doing anything. I'm, I'm just a frog. Like, he does a fake ribbit somehow as a frog. Uh, and then as Can't the roll. image behind us shows, he is, like, both whistling and feet crossed, leaning on the ball, like, I'm just here. <laughs> then he winks at Gohan. Uh, waiting for a bus. Uh, uh, just just waiting for the Namekian frog bus. That's it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Nothing it's- to see here. Oh yeah, yeah. You're you're not from this planet. You don't understand our our mass transit system for frogs. For frogs, amphibians. The amphibians mm-hmm. are the real uh, owners of the planet, apparently. The a- ATA. 
Oh, yeah. The Amphibian Transit Association. Yes, yes. These trains go underwater, baby. Yeah. Oh, God. Get the MTA out of here. Get the ATA in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. And the, the board is froppy. And mm-hmm. oh, uh, she'll get stuff done. Guinea Kermit. frog, Kermit. Uh, the Budweiser frogs are all on the board. Uh, uh, who, uh, 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 who else? Are, uh, Michigan J Frog. Michigan J. Thank you, thank you. But whenever they ask him to do a task, he he plays dead. Of yeah. course. <laughs> <laughs> he just does his. But you were dancing last night at karaoke. I'm hungover. <laughs> That's fair. Should have called in sick. <laughs> Hello, my baby. I'm at work now. Can I call you later? <laughs> He's always taking personal calls. <laughs> Send me lunch by wire. Baby, add the fire sauce. <laughs> He's a, he's doing Grubhub. <laughs> Just type it in. You don't have to narrate it. If you refuse songs. me, honey, you'll lose me, and I'll give you two stars, oh, baby. Come on and give me food for free. He thinks he's dating. <laughs> His Grubhub delivery person who's picking up something at Taco Bell for him. He needs to be off the board. Rabbit. This is a this is a televised meeting. This is one of our things where like the public comes and speaks. You know what I'm talking about. Excuse me, as a member of the public, I'd like to say that Mishka J. Frog is shirking his duties at the ATA. Hmm. There, I said it goodbye. Oh, thank you, Picky. <laughs> and see. see. It's like inside Ooh. job from Kermit. Ooh. He's trying to get him kicked out. Kermit. Kermit pulling all the strings, greasing all the yeah, wheels. Pulling all his Muppet friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you don't see, but it's just like all Muppets behind Picky in that scene. It's probably, well, like, here's the thing. Cut to Dark Alley. Michigan mm-hmm. Frey, J. Frog is fucking dancing his way down the street. <gasps> After another bender. So and then he, out of nowhere, he's, yeah. he hears, Hi! Yeah! <laughs> I was going to say Sweetums. De- a little deeper cut. Sweetums Ooh. comes in, swallows his asshole. There we go. Well, Sweetums like a giant worm. He was the big, he's just a big hairy monster. Mm-hmm. There's one monster that does like eat other Muppets. I don't know if it's Sweetums exactly. Mm-hmm. Don't send an email about this. <laughs> <laughs> this one I'm we not gonna. I'm not gonna read no it. email. We're not gonna read it on air on that one. <laughs> we probably won't even read it in our personal. <laughs> look, uh, look. Miss us with Tough that affair. Muppets. Tough, Miss us t- with the Muppets. That's all we have to say. Um, but doesn't fall for it. Gohan, he gets a little mischievous. I don't know if he gets malicious in yours, but sort of. He's not gonna like hurt him, but he does cause Ginyu Frog to run away. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, this and is then why we oh call boy, this, oh boy. The, this is this would be if we were on the Doughboys, this would be our bite of the night. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it what like it's enjoyable because of how buck wild it is. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. after running away and like you know wiping his frog brow, what does he see across the way? Someone going. Ribbit, Caro, 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 but a pink frog with lipstick, mm-hmm. winking. Oh, yeah. Just, and then she goes chasing after him, Pepe Le Pew style. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, it's so great. And it's the perfect amount of comeuppance for, for good old Ginyu frog. I wonder if Ginyu has the same problem in his old body. You think he's like you think he's in the frog body like I never had this issue as a as a purple man. Wonder what the difference was. I was even more handsome then. You think yeah, you think it's there's the thing. You think he would that's that, again, the whole brain soul all that question. When his froggy body take over at that point? Oh yeah. Send different signals to his brain like I know I shouldn't, but the little frog, the little frog inside yeah. of him is like you better hit that man. You try. We're trying to. We're trying to have a clutch over here. <laughs> she, she wants it. She. She is accepting. Make, make those tadpoles, son. Yeah. Go ahead. Mount that thing. <laughs> I don't know how frogs do. Yeah, we don't. We don't know. I know there's one frog that their babies 
are in their back. Yeah, that frog's weird. Maybe they're, he's like, oh, God, I hope I'm not one of those. Oh, yeah. And I don't want to find out. Maybe that's it. Maybe Ginyu knows that like the Mechian male frogs carry the clutch to term. Mm-hmm. And so he's like, I don't want none of that. Yeah, I'm not, not trying to be no this. male seahorse. It, the greatest of 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 the male yeah. species out there is yeah. the male seahorse carrying carrying the carrying the litter to I'm term. sorry I can't be him. Yeah, sorry <laughs> every woman seahorse. we've ever we've ever met and my future wife. <laughs> <laughs> I will never live up to the high standards set by the seahorse. I just it's I just like yeah, it's fucking out of all the all the th- swings they could have gotten. Also, a frog wearing lipstick? Funny. Funny as hell. <laughs> Funny as hell. Funny as Winkin. hell. Like, they could have... Think about it. They could have had, like, a Namekian, uh, like, sea creature jump out of the water and mm-hmm. chase Ginyu away. You know? Letting us believe that, oh, Ginyu's finally getting his in that he's going to get his ass beat or... Yeah. Eat, right? Um, Gohan could have simply kicked him millions of miles away with his yeah. tiny boy strength. But instead, they're like, no, no, no. What what we are going to pitch is an old fashioned Pepe Le Pew style uh, love chase. Y'all and, see Gremlins to a new batch? We want to mm-hmm, do one of those. Mm-hmm. Hope. Look, I'm not gonna. All I'm gonna say is, if you had a sexual awakening to that frog, <laughs> that everybody's got one. It I thought you were gonna everywhere. say. I thought you were gonna say Lady Gremlin. I'm like, mm, I know people mm-hmm. are horny for that Lady Gremlin. I know it. She's got Peg Bundy vibes. Uh huh. See, everybody likes a little crazy in the eyes. <laughs> oh, the crazy-eyed gremlin. Mm-hmm. Are we just gonna do that sketch from Key and Peele? <laughs> <laughs> Can we do one from I Think You Should Leave? <laughs> Season two. When do they have the gremlins? Uh, oh they no, there one? isn't one. I'm like, I think I feel like I would have remembered. No, I. Well, um, who was it? I was listening to, of course. Uh, but the anime sickos, and they they've been referencing. I think you should leave quite a bit. It's a good show. It's a good show. It's a damn good show. Damn, damn fine show. Damn fine show. Just like Dragon Ball Z. Damn fine show. <laughs> so the the three Trace Boys, the the three shorties. Do we have a name for their little group? Mm, three not something. One, uh, the the three. Mm. Shortos, two balds in a bowl cut, <laughs> motherfucking. <laughs> um, two scoops in a bowl. That's what we call them. <laughs> well, there we go. Hey, the ice cream gang. Ice cream gang. Two scoops in a bowl. And they're sweet boys. They are. They are sweet boys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they they're very fragile. <laughs> they, they're, oh, they melt they, under pressure. Oh. <laughs> The high heat Mm-mm. doesn't work for them. So they they're they're together. Uh, they're like, let's get out, let's sneak these balls away, not too far. We want to make sure it's still in the shot. Yeah, yeah. They, <laughs> I do like that they were like, all right, let's get far enough away that it's the ship is still in the shot, and if anybody really looked out of the ship, they could see us. But they could, Vegeta is impossibly fast, so let's go like I don't know, a hundred feet. He won't be able to catch us <laughs> exactly. when he wakes up. Uh, yes, because they they slip the Dragon Balls away under uh, the cover of Vegeta's nap. Um, apparently, Saiyan's nap pretty dang hard because mm-hmm. uh, he does not hear the crackling of lightning uh, of a dragon jumping out of a, a the center of the Dragon Balls, the sky darkening, uh, all the the classic summoning well, stuff. Hold on, we back up just a hair. Yes, please. What does Dende say exactly? Do you know? Did you write it down? I didn't write it down. Okay. Because it was in Namekian. Okay. Yeah, so he says I didn't it in get Namekian. a translation for it either. Oh, cool. They kept us in the dark. That's nice. all right. All right. Mm. Which means they speak English. <laughs> <laughs> as we've as, as Canonically we've speak English. They canonically speak English. Wow. We, we found or Japanese. That out. I don't know. That's okay. I'm. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. I don't know what that that means in Namekian. Yeah, I, I think kinda, the what we were supposed to get out of the password was all that gobbledygook. 
And then he says, Borunga! That's just his name. And that's, yes, that is that is the dragon's name. You know what? What a... <sighs> IT's going to get on to you for that one. You can't have your password be your login. <laughs> <laughs> can't double dip on that. Well, Ten Days Young, he, he, he has to learn. He has to take the cybersecurity course. I mean, all four of them, all four modules. I mean, I blame Guru on that one. He's the one that set it up. That's true. Guru set the set set the password on the family dragon balls. <laughs> if they make me reset it, I just put a one afterwards. Oh, I was supposed to reset that. It's still the factory thing on the bottom of the dragon yeah. balls. X two <laughs> yeah. J N R Q. That like R-Q. twenty. Yeah, that twenty digit thing. Yeah, it's that. I thought it was my IP address. What I do is I take a picture of it. It's I, too, send not, it I send it to myself. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, I forget. <laughs> and then I won't need it for six months. And I have to scroll through my uh, my photo album. We Look, we all know. We, we've all been there. Yeah. Nearly dead, remembering passwords. Uh, then they remember to unplug it first. Unplug the Dragon Balls. <laughs> Dende, don't wish for any pornography on the Dragon Balls. <laughs> you won't be able to. I put a parental lock on it. Yes. And the look, the password isn't what you think. Wait, is it? Hold is on. It? I don't remember. Thank you. I, it might be. <laughs> is it Parungo? <laughs> Damn it. No. Well, uh, look, if he can figure out the pass, if he's old enough to figure out that password, he's old enough to to see it to see a clutch. <laughs> Remember from a couple episodes back where we talked about that? Yep, yep. Those them throat games. Them throat games. Uh, all right, I'm going to keep remembering my mistakes. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, Parunga. Porunga. 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 Which means, uh, according to them, God of Dreams. Isn't Ooh, that wonderful? Different. My translation says Parunga means the dragon of love. What? Those are the two different dragon things. dragon of love. Yeah, those are really different. What, what, do you do you have a preference? Um, I mean, Parunga thick. So I can see gonna, him going with love. If we're gonna if we're gonna toss around name ideas, um, I I said Parunga. In my notes, I said Perunga should mean bench press in the Mechian <laughs> because of how yoked he is. Perunga is a unit, y'all. He, yeah, Shif, Shen. Oh, 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 oh. Here's the other thing that's fun. So we've we've had the Shen Ron, Shen Long discussion. Mm-hmm. Guess how they spelt it in my Perunga in mine. Ooh, uh, P. Is it P? P. No. O R U N G A H. Take off the H, replace that R with an L, and you've got Polunga. Polunga. They, yeah. Polunga sounds like a place you might visit, like out in Wyoming. Welcome to Polunga. There's like some weird, like, dramedy called Polunga, Wyoming. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Everybody goes and sees it every six months, it's up, travels around the state. <laughs> Why, sir, you're in Palunga, Wyoming. I am. But the end of the play is like, actually, it was hell. (laughs) (laughs) That's it. At the end, they're just like, and actually, it was hell, my dear boy. Curtain (laughs) curtain drop. He takes off a hat revealing two horns. (laughs) That he makes with his fingers. (laughs) Reveal takes that off. Yeah. You're in hell, my boy. What? And then like. Immediately the lights come off. People are shoving you out. <laughs> shoo, shoo. Go, leave now. Like, <laughs> don't think about it. Welcome to Wyoming. Slam. <laughs> uh, if you're from Wyoming, you got to get us tickets to that play. Yeah, we got to see that play before it hits Broadway and becomes too expensive. Too, mm-hmm. But that's, uh, uh, hold on. Anything else? Anything else? Important to note. That unlike the Earth Dragon Shenlong, mm-hmm. Perunga grants you three wishes within his power. Within his pra- whatever is within his power. I, I mean, mean, with muscles like that, what is? Well, I know what is out of reach. <laughs> Nothing. 
nothing's out of reach. Maybe the maybe the square of his back. Oh yeah, maybe you put a little post-it note there. Sacrifice that that flexibility for Mm -hmm. that bulk. Man, that'd be a a cruel wish. Hey Perunga, I wish there was a post-it note in the middle of your back. Damn. Oh, Oh, we haven't heard his voice yet. We don't know. Oh yeah, we don't know. We don't know what he sounds like. Could be like that guy from uh, One Piece. There is a character, Aaron, Mm -hmm. the size of a mountain, that has the voice that squeaks like a squeaky toy, Uh, and it's hilarious. Because all the everybody, like everybody in the show, uh, in that clip is laughing, like from the normal human beings to the to the Luffy pirates are are giggling their asses off. The it's straw hats. Funny. The straw Vincent, hats. The straw hat. I'm anyway. sorry, but that's um, uh, bu- 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 um. I mean, that's kind of it. We we do cut back to uh, King Kai's planet, and I gotta say, Chaozu, they drew him real chubby. Sitting uh, on King Kai's head. It was adorable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Move over, Gregory. Chiaotzu is here. <laughs> Bubbles must be pissed. There, that's... Oh, and then uh, Ginyu, he... He looks like he... Uh, he. We see Ginyu the frog. Mm-hmm. He's very sad. But he's got some lipstick on inside oh. of his frog mouth. So oh, I don't know yeah. if he's sad about his experience or... Oh, no. The, the Dragon Balls... Maybe a little bit of both. Maybe, Maybe he just both. doesn't know how to feel. It's just a rough. It's a rough day. It's a rough day. He almost got away with the one, and then he, you know he got a little, little lucky. Maybe and what a. I mean, honestly, you're right. What a you wait. It's you wake up, you find the Dragon Balls. You're like, cool. My boss is going to be the the bestest in the world. I'm his essentially his second in command. I'm set for life. Cool, I just switched bodies with this super tough guy. This rules. Oh, I'm a frog. Oh, oh, I'm back in my old body. Well, that's not bad. I can go into Vegeta. Oh, I'm a frog now. Oh, I'm having frog sex. <laughs> and I don't know how to feel about it. Yeah. Oh, no. the dra- They summon the dragon, and my boss can't get what he wants. Oh, what, no. a, what a day. What a day. In what a time to read an email. For one of our listeners, and uh, you know, I uh, called that shot. So here we go. This is from me writing down a thing. Don't worry about it. This is from Jerry, Patreon member Jerry now, officially. Damn right. Uh, They wrote us again and said, let me be first to give a belated congratulations to Vince on him tying the knot recently. Ooh, you're early, my friend. A little early, but I, I've been I've been feeling the love out there on the streams and and uh, in the comments. So thank you so much. Yeah, everyone's excited. Thank you, Jerry. Everyone loves love. Love, love. Yeah. Trying to be Goku. I can't Get wait till you said. <laughs> I can't wait till you send me a picture of you as a frog with lipstick. <laughs> that's that's the logical next step. <laughs> also, I'm gonna need you to train my son in five years oh. after you after you kill me. <laughs> Makes sense. I love uh-huh. this trajectory. Exactly. Uh, Jerry continues. My sis did the same. So congratulations to you and your new wife. Already finished my second run through of your podcast and graciously appreciated, appreciated hearing Commissioner Warden Gordon again. So thank you for that. I want to say thank you for the great content you both put out. And even got a YouTube show going on now with my best friend where we discuss different topics in anime. Check his and our content out on YouTube. Oh, no, it's a commercial. Ah, oh, that's fine. No, that, that's completely fine, Jerry. Uh, uh, here, thank hold you. On. Yeah, let me, let me, hold on. Here it comes. Big yeah, Smootho TV. Big Smootho TV on Look, YouTube. Yeah. Big. Where you can catch Jerry. Big as in what Parunga is. Mm-hmm. Smooth as in what Parunga is. <laughs> Put a little O on there, which is what Ginyu was given. <laughs> At a TV, baby, and you and you're there, and you're watching. You're watching great conversations about anime and what. I assume. I don't know. That's what I think. I, that's what I want to believe. I believe in Jerry. That's what I know because Jerry believes in the me that believes in Jerry. Jerry believes in us enough to give us uh, a, a certain amount of money a month. So thank, thank Jerry. Thank you for the kind words. Thank you for the kind money. Thank uh, you. Thank you for the kind email. We will keep fighting. Um, and thank you all. 
I can't say it the way we usually do because it's not the end yet. Mm-hmm. Um, but thank you all for hanging out, listening to our dumb, dumb talk about Dragon Ball. Um, like we said before, come to Patreon if you can. If you have the means and you like what we do, it is the best way to support the show. You can give any amount you want, uh, but for a little bit, you get a shout out. For a little bit more, you get some bonus content. Isn't that isn't that lovely? Yeah. Uh, drop in, drop out, whatever you want to do. It's Speaking of life. dropping in and dropping out, I think the schedule is changing this week in particular, uh, the next two weeks. But you it's- can usually catch us over on twitch.tv slash Kame House Party, Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, we got to find a, a solution for <laughs> the next two weeks on streaming. We'll figure it out. It we'll don't, figure don't it worry. out. We'll figure it out. So keep keep an eye. That's why you got to follow. Like we got we got a couple of followers in the last stream, so you got to follow uh, to make sure you get the updates and notifications when we go live. But you can check us out twitch.tv slash comedy house party. Also subscribe on YouTube. Follow us there. Uh, to also see the streams and the archives of the streams. And, oh, did you have something else? Oh, I was just going to say that uh, we're, it's it's going to be wonky the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, Vince is... It's my fault. He, yeah. He, how dare he? Brides all over here. <laughs> yeah. I said, every everything moves away from my wedding day. I mean, I, I mean, look, you know I had to convince vince not to record during the honeymoon he did i would have done it it's like i can pack it it's it's a carry-on item yeah it's a carry-on the item. mic i uh yeah it stays with me europe has good wi-fi ray yeah <laughs> i don't know i assume who knows the arctic circle has great wi-fi right uh, we need i mean at some point we'll have to do some sort of international i know podcasting that that's how you know you've done it Mm-hmm. When someone is in a different country, exactly a thing that I'm sure has never, ever, ever, ever happened before. It's never happened before, and uh, never happened on a podcast that exclusively talks about Dragon Ball. I mean, I guess and that. does improv. That's what I'm saying. There we go. That's we could pro- we're we probably Guinness World Record worthy in terms of podcast episodes recorded about Dragon Ball. That's all I'm going to say. Doing improv and doing improv. Mm-hmm. That's, That's how the specific key. they. That's get. the key. Yeah, that's the key. Um, but thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support, all the all the kind wishes, all the energy that y'all are sending our way. We we love it, we appreciate it. Uh, and you know, do all the things we said before. Keep sending us emails. Keep being great out there in the community. And no matter if you are trying to decide if you like that that frog nookie, or you're trying to get swole like Perunga, you gotta. Keep five.